Hello everyone, Anita here, and today I am going to do another Q&A, where you go to hashtag StargazerQA and ask me whatever you want. And if I massacre your name, I apologize ahead of time, I am illiterate. This question comes from Victor. I see you everywhere, Victor. You are a very supportive Stargazer. I appreciate you. Where would you like to travel when you get a chance to? I would love to go to Australia, New South Wales, Sydney, uh, that whole area. Also, I would love to go to Japan. They still have the Back to the Future ride. And that's my favorite movie ever, so I would totally like to go check it out and then be able to understand it in Japanese, so I need to, I need to get to learning. Japanese pretty quickly. Well, probably not quickly because I don't know when I'd ever get the chance to actually go to Japan, so I guess I have time. <laughs> the next question is from Raven Shadows. What video games do you play, if any? Don't kill me, everyone out there. I do play Minecraft because it's addicting and I love it and I love creating the houses and fighting the zombies and the skeleton guys and you know, protecting my house and then digging and finding the mine shafts, especially the abandoned ones because they're so fun and I love finding diamonds and making, you know, diamond swords and stuff. It's so enjoyable for me. Shut up. <laughs> but also I play Sims 3 Pets. I do the things that I'm supposed to be doing in, in real life on, you know, a game in, instead. And I've played every single Fable that has come out, except for the one they did on Kinect. I don't remember what that one was called. Like Fable Journey or something? I can't remember, but it was so weird, because like you had to ride a horse and then the Kinect, it was just, it was awkward, and I didn't really play that one, so. Maybe I can try it again, give it a shot. I was actually a beta tester on Fable Legends, which was cool, because I actually got to play the game before it got completely cancelled. Thanks, Microsoft, for destroying my favorite game series. No, I'm, I'm not bitter, okay? I'm fine. But I heard Skyrim is really rad and I'm looking forward to delving into that series because a lot of people told me that if I liked Fable, I would totally love Skyrim. So I might play that this summer and I might start uploading gameplay on my gaming channel that I used to have way back in the day that y'all don't know exists. Maybe I'll have like a secret annotation linky thing to that before the annotations are gone for good because that's gonna be stopping. Next question is from Victor. Do you play Pokemon Go? What? So yeah, I, uh, I did play Pokemon Go. <laughs> the first like four months when it came out, I was obsessed with it. I would play it all of the time. And within like the first four months, I got to level 29. And that's kind of where I left off at level 29. This next question comes from Will Brewster. Aside from YouTube, are you an actor by any chance? I do not consider myself an actor. I used to do community theater and maybe I can show you how awful I was in those plays. It was so much fun and I loved acting and I'd love to do more and get better at it but I feel like it's not something you can just make yourself be good at. You just have to be good at it. I don't know. I can't really judge myself. I do have an IMDB page though if you look it up Anita Star and I have some credits because I have done a few things. You're not going to find quality acting in any of my past things that I've done. Not to say that I wouldn't love to continue doing more acting, because <laughs> I do actually belong to the Screen Actors Guild, which I don't even know how that happened. Next question from Victor. Have you thought about doing some movie reviews on your channel? I'm not like a super movie buff like some of my friends are. I'm more like a movie watcher, but I have thought a lot about doing anime reviews, because I watch a good amount of anime. And I did do like a trailer review of an anime, so that is on my channel and I'll probably link a Cardi thingy for that so you can watch that and let me know if you liked it because I wouldn't mind doing more of those if, you know, y'all are into it. Next question is from Brendan Rhymes. What's your favorite horror movie? This question is going to be reserved for a whole video about where I talk about my favorite horror movie because I did tell one of my friends that I'd like to do a video just about our favorite horror movies. 
So I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off on this one until I make that video. Next question is from Victor. Are you into comic books? And if so, what are your favorite comics? I haven't really ever been exposed to comic books or manga, so I mean I'm open to suggestions. I don't know if I'm into it because I haven't actually tried to read any of it. If you have any suggestions for me, leave them in the comments below and maybe I can check something out and see if I do like it. Next question is from Brandon Rhymes. What is your favorite beverage to drink? So my favorite just drink to order is unsweetened iced tea with artificial sweetener. Equal is my favorite, but I know it's supposed to be really bad for you. I can't cope with Splenda. The taste is just can't, I can't do it. I can't have actual sugar in my beverages. I don't know why, but it grosses me out. I can eat sugar all day, every day in sweets, but I really, I can't, I can't tolerate it in beverages. There's like a tie between my adult beverage top favorites. One is a whiskey sour specifically with makers. The other one is a margarita specifically with silver tequila. This next question is from Metalhead83. What's a skill slash trade that you have always wanted to learn? Now I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. That's why I color as my artistic outlet but uh, I've always wanted to learn how to paint. This next question is from Nathaniel Horn. What's your favorite video game console and why? I am a huge fan of Xbox because that was the actual first gaming system that I got for myself as an adult because that's when you're supposed to start gaming, right? This next question is from my stargazer sweetheart, Sean West. Do you ever wish you were born into a different body? We all have little things about our body that we don't necessarily care for, so of course, being super fit or having like a thinner body and definitely taller, because I'm so short. This question is from Dan. Hey Anita, do you happen to have an Amazon wish list? Yes, I do, and I'll link that in the description below if you want to check it out. And since you're asking, my birthday's actually on May 12th, so it's coming up. This next question is from Sean Moreau. What was your biggest famous person you have met? I have lived in Los Angeles since 2008. This is a really bad analogy, but it's like moving inside of a zoo where they're, they're just all these exotic animals live, except for they're free to roam around everywhere, and you're in there with them, and you see them everywhere all the time. So I'm gonna say that the biggest celebrity that I ever met was Angelina Jolie, and she was so sweet, and like I couldn't even like keep my face straight, I started crying, and I only got one picture over the shoulder where I'm shaking her hand, and, you, and my hair was like super red at the time, so you can see like the back of my red head and like just like a little bit of her face, and she's so cute, and I love her so much. That's gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for uh, going to my Twitter and asking me questions, and if you liked this video, smack that like button, you know where, and subscribe to my channel. I make new videos every single week. See you later, Stargazer. I'm hesitating because of what happened last time. I'm not gonna hurt myself. Pete?